recently held its ninth lecture in a series inviting British academics to Korea. Professor Graham Evans of London Metropolitan University was invited to give a lecture on strategies for creative cities. What makes a creative city? Here are the answers from Professor Graham Evans. Hello and welcome, I'm An Jang Yan for A Heart to Heart. My guest today says the best creative cities are the ones that combine their cultural assets and heritage with contemporary creativity and innovation. Let's find out exactly what that means by meeting Professor Graham Evans of London Metropolitan University. Great to have you with us, Professor. Annyeonghasebika. So I believe this is your first time in Korea, yes? It is, yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, what's uh, your first impression of Korea? I was pleasantly surprised by the, the landscape, the I think the combination of cities, urban centers, agriculture, uh, the rice fields, uh, mountain backdrop, and that mixture of uh, urban and rural together. Uh, and of course, being from London, a city person, Seoul, I, I enjoy it like cities, so it's nice to come uh, come to another city as well. Yeah. Seoul's a huge city. It is. It was one of the you know the larger cities, more more population than London, mm -hmm. growing that way and that way. Right. What do you teach at London Metropolitan University? Um, I'm, I'm director of a research institute, the Cities Institute, so I teach mainly postgraduate and research students, uh, but urban regeneration, um, urban planning, cultural economics, uh, events management. Um, London is hosting the 2012 Olympic right, Summer Games, right. and uh, one of the things I'm doing is I've been appointed by the, the city government to evaluate the legacy, what comes after the Olympics in terms of the regeneration and the new facilities that are being built, what their post-Olympic legacy use will be. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have a research centre, an independent research centre yes. called the Cities Institute. That's right. Oh, so it's kind of like um, planning the cities then, or, or um, the architect yes, we, of yeah. cities. Yes, we work at the city-wide scale, in a master planning. We work at the government policy level, uh, and at the very micro street neighborhood scale where, where communities mm -hmm. i mean we, cities are very large but we all inhabit a small part of them so i think we we need to make the micro and macro levels work better together and of course transport urban design and planning are very important in achieving that now i believe that upon arriving in korea you made a trip down to kim he what was the business that took you there yes that was my invitation why, why I'm here so I need to thank my host in Kim Hay, the City Hall, uh, the new mayor uh, Kim Jong-gan, uh, the urban design division invited me over. The City of Kim Hay is a, applying for City of Design designation under a UNESCO Creative Cities program. Mm -hmm. So UNESCO, the United Nations uh, organization, have a Creative City network and they designate on a competitive basis, cities around the world who apply for City of Design, City of Literature, City of Gastronomy, and Kim Hay invited to become, promote themselves as a creative city uh, and go for City of Design status. So the event I was the keynote speaker at um, was really to launch and exchange good practice from other creative cities around the world uh, and also to inform the Korean UNESCO office who have to be impartial and, and consider the, the bids from uh, individual Korean cities. Yeah. So how do you see the potential of Kimia becoming designated City of Design? Well, it's, it's, a, it is a small to medium-sized city, which I think is good in a way in that it can, it can focus on particular priorities. It doesn't have to do everything. It's not a big uh, capital city like, like, like Seoul. Uh, it's close to the sea. Uh, they have a new light rail transport system opening in, in, in 2010. It's quite well connected. The link between, I think, the Gaya culture and heritage is strong. They have invested in a lot of new museums uh, celebrating heritage, the, the, the King Soro and the uh, Tombs Museum, sort of Gaya Street, as well as contemporary museums of uh, uh, the Clay Arc Museum particularly. I was impressed with its uh, cera architectural ceramics, mm -hmm. a beautiful museum with a, a very good collection. So it has some quite good contemporary and, and heritage 
cultural assets, but importantly, as a, a mayor and city officers who really want to go for this creative city. So I think that that's as important as the as, as anything else. Yeah. From what you suggested, from what I quoted mm -hmm. as you're, you're saying yeah. in the opening of the show, uh, I guess Kim Ann now needs to combine those cultural yes, assets with contemporary. Yes, that's always the challenge. To get, to get the balance between the past and I think the uh, we met, uh, we had a round table expert panel that I, I, I sat on after the presentation with uh, representatives from the Incheon University Design Institute, uh, Changwon University, their architecture school, and I think for the who's those people, they're more interested in the contemporary. How do we look to the future? Let's not be too dominated by the past heritage. But of course the city has a responsibility for its inheritance, its legacy. That's a very important, I think, for Korea as well. It's uh, that gay history is important for Korea as a whole, not just the, the southeastern region. But that can be done. I think we can celebrate um, and even design buildings that reconcile old with the new, if it can be done well. If it's done badly, it's quite horrible. Right, right. <laughs> Hi, Tom. We're joined today by Professor Graham Evans, Director of the Cities Institute at London Metropolitan University. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Straight ahead. Professor Graham Evans gives a lecture on creative cities at the British Council. <laughs> Professor Graham Evans's lecture was held at the British Council of Korea on May 25th. Many students turned up at the British Council to attend Professor Evans's first lecture in Korea. Well, this is my first time in Korea, so it will be interesting to hear what they think about Seoul and the, the, the greater area, and other parts of Korea too, too perhaps, whether they think it is a creative city, whether they think it could be more creative. So for me, it would be interesting to, to hear people's thoughts and ideas as, as to you know whether Seoul itself should be a creative city, is already creative, and how, and what it might do to improve. His lecture was titled, Creative Spaces, Strategies for Creative Cities. He emphasized the importance of creative cities as growth engines for both developed and developing countries. He gave examples of creative cities and explained what strategies and qualities are needed to build creative cities. Even after the lecture, the students continued to show interest in creative cities, coming up with many questions for Professor Evans. Well, first of all, it shows that there's a lot of interest in the topic and the subject. I think the British Council had over 250 people wanted to come, but they didn't have a big enough space. So maybe next time we will use a bigger venue so more people can participate. Uh, 좀, 이렇게, 